Hey guys, I'm back making my 8th diecast, diecast review, and this happens to be a very special diecast. Took me a while to find this. You, prob you guys are probably going to be like, oh my god, where'd you get this? Here it is. Dan Gurney's number 121 Ford Galaxy from 1965. Here it is. Um, as you can see, he drove this for the Wood Brothers. Back, he drove this car back. He drove this car for the Wood Brothers in 1965 at Riverside. Um, he got that win at Riverside, and he actually had a huge sweep at Riverside. Um, as you can see right here, it says Augusta Motor Sales. Right here, it says um, 427CI, and the CI stands for cubic inches. As you can see on the roof, it's a little messed up. When I got it, it was a little chip, so I just redid it. Sorry about that. As you can see, um, this this old car shape was raised back in like the 1960s. The, the old Ford Galaxy, as you can see by the as you can see by the front. This happens to be a very rare car. Like today, if you wanted to find Ford Galaxy, these things would be worth something. Um, trying to figure out what it says on the car. It also says ESO. You probably can't see it. Um, Dan Gurney has to be a very, very interesting man from Port Jefferson, New York. And the funny thing is, I live about an hour away from him. That's the funny thing. Um, when he drove at Riverside, he was like a madman. One, he won, I believe, maybe four or five years in a row. Um, didn't win the next year, but won in. Um, I think 1968. He, this probably won't be a nickname, but I don't think this is a nickname, but I'm, I call him, um, I call him either Riverside Man or Riverside Madness, because of the way he always swept it. Um, Gurney started his career back in the early 1960s and ended his career in 1980. Um, his, besides finishing first, his other best finish was finishing fourth in the 19, I think a 1961 Daytona qualifier. Um, right now, Gurney would be 81 years old, I believe. Um, he's still alive. Pretty cool driver. So stay tuned for the ninth diecast video. I'm out.